Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's see how to create an API gateway. Um, because in the previous video, we saw how to build your Lambda function, how to create your Lambda function, and how to write some Python code to get data from the DynamoDB table. So this time, we are going to create an API gateway. So when we hit that API gateway, when we uh, browse that URL, the HTTPS endpoint in our browser, so that will trigger this Lambda function and then it will query the data from the DynamoDB, DynamoDB table and we will see the records, we will see the response back in our browser. So that's the idea. And if I go to my Lambda console, so that's the function uh, we created in our previous video, get subscribers. And if I test that function, test was successful and it's returning the data from my DynamoDB table subscribers. So I had three records, Venkat, Alice, Bob, and it's uh, returning data fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an API gateway. Uh, so for that, I'm going to go to API gateway, search for API. I'm gonna open that in the new tab. API gateway, get started. Okay, so I want to use the REST protocol, create a new API. So it has given me some example API, but I want to create a new API. API name, um, let's call it first or get subscribers, subscribers, API description. My first gateway API. Endpoint, I'm gonna leave that as regional and then click create API. All right, so our API is done. And the next step is to add a method, create a method. I'm going to use the get method, click the little tick mark here. That's done. So whenever we uh, query, whenever we use the get method in the URL, what type of integration we want. So we want to call the Lambda function. All right, so Lambda function is selected. Lambda region, so we need to know in which region we deployed, we created our Lambda function. So our Lambda function, I created it in London region, which is EU West 2. Uh, that's the one that's selected right now. And the function is Lambda function that we are going to use is get subscribers, save. Okay. And the next thing is, so method request, integration request, it goes to the Lambda function and then the response comes back. Okay, we can do a little test here. If you click the test path, test, response body is null, content type is application, JSON. Okay, all right, so I think I need to do one more thing because I'm not sending any response back. So I'm going to change my Lambda function a little bit. So at the moment I'm returning nothing. So my API gateway won't get any response back from this Lambda function. So I'm just printing the subscribers list. So let's say response, response equals subscribers underscore list. And I'm going to return the response. All right, save. And in the API gateway, if I test it again, Yep, so I've got my response back. That's the response body, Venkat, Alice, and Bob, the three records from the DynamoDB table. All right, so that's done. So what's next? Um, you're going to deploy this API. Deploy API, deployment stage. We haven't got any stage, so let's create a new stage. I'm gonna call the stage dev, stage description, dev stage, deployment description, initial deployment deploy yep cool so that's our uh, stage and the deployment history we've got just one deployment here and that's the endpoint so that's the actual URL you need to uh, browse in your web browser that will trigger the API uh, lambda function all right so if I click that you see Venkat Alice Bob cool so that's all working fine so that's our API gateway so that's the API gateway endpoint it gives you a nice HTTPS URL, and when you browse to that URL, it will trigger your Lambda function that gets data from your DynamoDB table. All right, so let's make it a little bit more readable. It's just returning JSON. So I'm going to do some few more changes. 
So basically in the response, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return a HTML formatted um, file so that it's easier for us to read in the web browser. Okay, for that, what I'm going to do is response equals, let's do some HTML coding here, h1 subscribers of just me and open source and then close h1. I'm going to create a, a list ul slash ul and percent yes and it will be percent subscribers underscore list and here I'm going to say a list item basically I'm trying to create a list item in HTML li and again here open tag list item plus okay save and let's see if it returns the HTML response back test okay cool so that's the response back h1 subscribers of just me and open source an unordered list with three list items so that's all looking good and in the API gateway if I click this now cool so that's what we want but still it's not HTML because the content type is set to JSON so we need to change that to HTML so now go back to resources on the left here click on the get and in here uh, choose method response expand uh, the HTTP status 200 so whenever we get the 200 status we need some customization so for that I'm going to delete this so that's the default content type right application slash JSON so I'm going to delete that add a header and the header is going to be content slash type little tick icon here that's done go back and go to the integration response expand the response status for 200 expand the header mappings content type I'm going to edit the content type and say the content type is within single quotes though so that's very important within single quotes I'm going to say text slash HTML and then save that and in the mapping template I'm going to delete the application JSON yes delete add a mapping template for text HTML click that little icon so now here and um, you have to enter input dot path and within bracket within single quotes dollar all right and click save so that's very important so make sure of this uh, line item here dollar input dot path within quotes dollar all right so that's done so now we need to redeploy this so actions deploy API deployment stage we had a dev stage earlier so select the dev stage deployment description updated content type to be HTML deploy cool and if I look at the deployment history now we have two deployments the current deployment is this one and you can look at the description here and now if I um, access the gateway endpoint you will see that's a nicely formatted so that's how you format the response uh, you're getting from your lambda function back in your browser cool I hope this video was useful please try this if you've got any questions please leave me a comment and if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will see you all in my next video until then bye bye